Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having an excellent day today. For this week's video, we're checking out the really cool and affordable Ibanez SA series. Now the SA series from Ibanez are amazing little guitars. They offer a ton of value for money and really a great playing experience and a ton of versatility. Now I've always been a big fan of the Ibanez S series guitars. I like the overall aesthetic, uh, a little bit more rounded and uh, you know less angular than an RG. So really softened up uh, all the edges. Everything's nice and smooth and contoured. And of course, you know, the thin body is what it's all about. Super lightweight guitar. Uh, this is a prestige model, so, you know, more high end. But the SA kind of keeps some of the best parts of the S series, but gives you the humbucker single, single pickup configuration. So in the past, Ibanez has released the SA 160, the 260, the 360, and the 460. Currently, they're only selling two models, the 260 and the 460, but they're all essentially the same guitar, just with different ornamentation. Now this particular SA has the sapphire blue finish with a quilted top, really cool looking. Um, it's got the SAT2 bridge, uh, works quite well, the, the two point bridge. It's got a five way switch, just like you know an HSS Strat or anything like that. Um, volume tone, I like the input jack right here. And so it's still quite thin, not quite like the prestige thin, but very thin and ergonomic and really well balanced. You get jumbo frets, um, maple neck, you get the all access uh, heel joint, which is really beautiful, feels great, you know, as you move to the upper registers. Six inline tuning machines, they're okay, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, these are made in China but overall uh, fit and finish and everything is excellent. Now, one of the main reasons why I really like these SA guitars is they kind of give you the best of the Strat with the single coils in the, in the front and the middle and the best of Ibanez with a powerful humbucker in the back. All right, so let's plug this baby in and see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna give you guys some clean tones and bluesy tones with the single coils and maybe some heavier riffing and soloing with the humbucker. As per usual, we're gonna be plugged into the Blue Angel amp Overdrive tones or the blues tones are going to be courtesy of the True North Tweed Drive, really cool pedal, and the high gain tones courtesy of the Rev G3, which is amazing for high gain.
So here are my final thoughts on this guitar. First of all, love the looks of it. I really dig that blue burst sapphire finish with the quilted top. I think it looks really great. Uh, matching headstock too, you know, just really sharp. Now as for the tuning machines and the nut, they're decent. You know, these this is sort of like a, uh, an entry level, mid level guitar. So you're not getting like top quality components. Um, but if you guys watch my video, how to make your cheap guitar play like a million bucks, I think that's what I called it anyway. Um, I go through my whole setup process and really, you know, that can be overcome with, you know, just a little bit of maintenance. So anyway, overall, pretty good, uh, especially for the price. Now the neck is not like an ultra thin Ibanez neck. It's a little bit fuller. So really nice. It still has jumbo frets and a really flat fingerboard. So it's really easy to play. I just found that it played like butter, uh, really enjoyable, but it doesn't have like the razor thin um, Ibanez necks that you find on some other models. Now on the backside, you can see it's a bolt on neck, but it has the Ibanez all access heel joint, which I find very, very comfortable. And you know, for a guitar in this price range, uh, there's no excuses. I think every manufacturer should be doing something like this. It just makes sense uh, so much nicer for the player. Uh, a little bit of a belly contour here as well. So very comfortable. Um, and on the front side, the pickups are pretty good. You know, you put them through a good amp and you can get great tones. So even though I sometimes criticize Ibanez for putting in, you know, maybe not the, the best pickups on their models, uh, this one was pretty good. You could definitely get some Strat-like tones and the back humbucker is very powerful and just pure Ibanez all the way through. So there you guys go. If you want a versatile guitar that isn't a Stratocaster, if you're not into Strats, this is a great guitar. It's versatile enough to cover a bunch of genres. I think it looks really cool, plays amazing, and sounds pretty good too. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this demo. The rest of my information will be on the screen right now or in the video description below. You can check out the t-shirt store, the tab store, all that stuff. Have an awesome week, you guys. Take care.